imagine you're going onto a train platform in the subway. It's a regular day, and you're waiting for the train. You can hear it coming at a distance. You can see the light. of our interest in working together was the process itself already and um, a sort of multimedia theatrical performance um, space not necessarily in an interactive way but in a like in a giving to a creation and collaborating with it was really nice to have like a different space like the I felt like the environment initially coming in invited people to think of something different to like this is a different world there are like different rules but we wanted a sensory experience we wanted things that you could touch and see and, and play with we came in and we started talking about what drew us to the fear hammer and like you know we talked a little bit about the idea of you know breaking through our fears and facing them and some things that could have been dramatically different than this and then there was a moment of silence and and I think it was Pat who was like or we could just be really scary and like just try to smash other people with fear and we're like yeah that'd be kind of fun and I, I remember David specifically just giggled maniacally and I was like oh well that's what we're gonna do because it's, it's my first time to collaborate with uh, so many different people has different backgrounds and I do learn a lot to how to accomplish a project here. It's just it's just really refreshing when everyone is kind of like here are the skills I can offer and like it sort of gets thrown into like one big melting pot shall we say. Um, to get people talking to each other to get people um, sort of in that feeling of being on a playground and making friends for the first time and and trying not to have any inhibitions like kids have. It was interesting that the brainstorming kind of like started here and then we built off that rather than like this huge broad brainstorming that people do and then they have to kind of minimize like every idea that we thought about that we were like that's a great idea but how are we going to do that um, it seems like someone else with in a different expertise would step up and say we could execute it this way and see if we can make that work we try to explore one main idea in several different ways so like you had an experience visually, intellectually, what would bring you back in memories. Especially through the Oculus, you're, you have to, as a writer, you have to like, what is the person experiencing? What is the user experiencing in every different moment? But it was very much about like finding, finding the idea through the making of each of those things. We were creating a playground for people to play with, but we were also like playing in the playground while, while kind of creating that because I don't know, we were trying to make a different world with whatever we have on our hands and our imagination. We seemed to be picking up some of the things that we had at our disposal and we were moving ahead and slowly building um, this, this uh, full experience. I am endlessly fascinated by not having a boundary of actor, playwright, director in the room, but having a collective of minds. For me, my favorite aspect was like getting to work with like the actors and seeing like there are different ways of like approaching the pro um, a project. We are all doing um, playing things with like monitor based technology, so it's really good to like work to build a tangible experience, like things you can really touch, you can really play with. We had just been connecting along the ideas and the concepts, so the last thing that we saw was like the thing that you guys saw. <laughs> It was almost as, as surprising to us as probably everybody else. <laughs> I felt like we were being kind of pie, at this, pie in the sky at first about what, what we wished could, 
could happen. But so often we don't think that way. Um, and I think that's where some of our best ideas come from. And then we figure out how we can make them work together. It's not like a fluke that you put these two groups of people together and they create like wonderful, interesting work. 